we are going to discuss bracket simplification or expand the brackets. So before I begin, we have to know a few operations here. So plus operator multiplied with plus operator, the output would be plus. This is a very important thing. And then minus operator multiplied with minus operator, the answer would be plus. Then plus operator multiplied with minus operator, the answer would be a minus value. Then minus operator multiplied with a plus operator, the answer would be again minus value. So we have to understand that first. Now we will go into this example. So here we have three bracket 2x plus 5, we have to expand the bracket. So first of all, we have to understand what is, what is in it. We have a multiplication over here and the sign which belongs to 3 would be plus by default it is plus and then the sign belongs to 2x would be plus so this plus sign belongs to 5 now in this bracket simplification what we do we multiply plus 3 with the first term secondly we multiply plus 3 with the second term now in that case first of all plus 3 multiplied with plus 2x then plus plus 3 multiplied with plus 5 so it goes like that so I'm showing you the full details so that you will understand and you will easily do the rest of the stuff so plus 3 multiplied by plus 2x so now first of all plus times plus would be plus 3 times 2x is going to be 6x then you're going to put this plus sign then plus times plus would be plus 3 times 5 would be 15 it's like that so ultimately you can see plus times plus here see plus times plus it's going to be again plus so answer would be 6x plus 15 so if you want to do it in a quicker way so this is how we typically do 3 times 2x, we write it as 6x. Then 3 times plus 5 is going to be 15. You get the same answer. So now we will do a few questions and then see whether we understand it. 4 times x minus 1. 4 times x is going to be 4x. 4 times minus 1 is going to be minus 4. And that would be the answer to that question. And if you have minus 3, minus 6, plus 5. So in this case, minus 3 is going to be multiplied with minus x. So minus minus is plus. 3 times x is 3x. Then minus 3 multiplied with plus 5, it's going to be minus 15. Why? Minus times plus would be minus. So I hope you understand it better. So now if you, we'll do a few more questions. 4x times 2 minus 1. So if you have that, 4x times 2 is 8x. 4x times minus y is going to be minus 4xy. Okay, I hope you understand that. Then 4x x minus x squared plus y, if you have something like this. Then you do the same thing. 4x times x is going to be 4x squared. 4x times x squared would be minus because there is a minus. Plus times minus is minus. So it would be 4x to the power 3. Then 4x times y, it's going to be plus 4xy. So that would be the answer to that. And uh, if you have another question like this, minus 8. 7 plus 2y. This is going to be very easy. Minus 8 with 7, it's going to be minus 56. Minus 8 with plus 2y, it's going to be minus again 16y. So we have to know why this is minus because here minus multiplied with plus. Here also minus multiplied with plus because we have plus in front of this. So um, we can discuss more questions. If you have 
8 z k minus h or to this 8 z plus 8 8 z multiplied with k would be 8 k z o z k then 8 z multiplied with minus h would be minus 8 z h and that would be the answer to that one now minus 9 u plus 9 so in this case minus 9 times u is minus 9u minus 9 plus 9 would be minus 81 i hope you understand that uh, how you get that so here minus is multiplied with positive that's that's how you get minus here okay so another question six times three q minus five if you have plus two q so how to do this one six times three q is going to be 18 q six times minus five would be minus 30 plus two q over here then you can now add 18 q with 2 q it's going to be 20 q minus 30 and that would be the answer to that question now what about this question minus 5 1 plus 5 q minus 2 r so in this question minus 5 with 1 is going to be minus 5 minus 5 with plus 5 q is equal to minus 25 q then minus 5 with minus 2 r minus minus is positive and then 5 times 2 is 10 then r is the answer now if you have something like 2 um, 9 plus 10 j plus 4 3 j plus 3 so this would be 2 times 9 is going to be 18 2 times 10 j is going to be 20 j then plus 4 with plus 3 j it's going to be plus 12 j then plus 4 with plus 3 is going to be plus 12 so now what you will do you will group these similar terms 18 plus 12 is going to be 30 then you can see 20 j with 12 j it's going to be 32 j and that would be the answer to that question okay so we will do a, a another similar type of a question so 8 times 5 plus 10 g plus 3 4 minus 4 g so how to simplify this 8 times 5 is going to be 40 8 times 10 g is going to be 80 g and 3 times 12 is going to be 12 3 times 4 is going to be 12 and 3 times minus 4g is going to be minus 12g so here we will group the similar terms so you can see 40 plus 12 would be 52 80 plus 80 minus 12g is going to be that would be plus 68g and that would be the answer to that question so i hope you understood how to do the bracket simplifications and if you have any questions, leave a comment. Thank you.